Namaste guys, this is Ashmita from artsandcraft.blogspot.in and today I am here to show you different ways you can use your charms and basically so to speak we use charms to um, alter our projects, to embellish our scrapbooks and whatnot. but uh, charms originally were for jewelry and of course I want to make some little things that you're going to use in your everyday life that will come handy and you can actually put them to use so uh, let me quickly show you the supplies that you're going to need you're going to need um, a jewelry, jewelry plier that looks something like this and this has got round nose call them um, this is a nose plier and it's all round and there's another one this this one and this is a flat nosed jewelry plier and it has flat um, wedges on the inside and these are pretty sharp so you need to be careful with these speaking from experience and you're gonna need some fussy cutting scissors some really sharp shears and of course you're gonna need some uh, you're gonna need a wire cutter and this is pretty sharp so you need to be careful with this one as well it's got a very sharp pointy tip another thing that you're gonna need is your e6000 and this is a very potent uh, adhesive and you need to be very careful with this and little go a really long way so we're gonna be using some of that as well and let's get started all right so the first thing I'm going to show you is the, the first basic that you need to know about uh, jewelry making or working with charms in general is you need to learn how to put a jump ring onto your charm and I have a little dragonfly charm here and I just love dragonflies so you're going to grab a jump ring and with the opening on top with my two pliers, I'm just going to twist it in opposite directions, like so. So that's my jump ring open. And let me show you the hand action again. You're going to grab the jump ring and just twist in two opposite directions. That's all you need to do. Let me show you another example. Just going to grab my jump ring with my two pliers and just go like that it's that easy and to put the charm through I'm just going to grab my jump ring and I'm going to put my charm into it and again move the jump ring in the opposite direction like so and that closes up my um, my jump ring so you simply go back in the opposite direction to close it up. You never um, pull apart the jump ring because that ruins the round shape and that's what you end up with. Super super easy. So I don't know if you guys have noticed but there is a super duper really cute little charm available in the charm section and I'm going to be putting the link down below as well and this little hand mirror charm comes with a protected uh, covering here and this is just a little sticky tape that you just peel off and you have an actual mirror over there and this is super cute so i love this so much i have one of these in my wallet because i am um i love my lipstick and i love my coal and i have to have something on the go with me in my purse so that i can you know do touch-ups while i'm going someplace so i want to actually now turn this into a key ring so that it doesn't get lost in my purse so to do that i'm going to grab this little key ring here and all I'm going to do with my mirror charm is I'm just going to pry this apart like so and I'm just going to put my mirror through there 
like so and this just isn't good enough for me and I want to embellish this a little so I already have a little comb charm on a jump ring and this fellow is also available at the store and all I'm going to do is instead of threading through that all over again I'm just going to simply open up my jump ring and close it up like so and then I think that this isn't enough for me as well so I'm going to be adding my little dragonfly onto this as well so again I'm just going to open up my jump ring and I'm going to slide this in onto the ring there and close it up usually with practice you should be able to uh, close up your jump rings with your uh, with one plier like I'm doing but before you get to that level I suggest that you practice a bit because it does um, give you sore fingers and I'm speaking with exp uh, speaking from experience so I think that is pretty neat so I can add my keys in here and let me do just that I have a little key again from the store and that's that and I'm going to quickly add a jump ring to it and I'm going to add my key oops onto my uh, key ring And that's it you have an awesome little uh, key ring in minutes and you can even gift these and it's something that you can use it has a practical use as well as well as it looks pretty just got some boo-boo from the mirror and that's it so this can go right into my purse and I can grab this out and it won't get lost because I have all of these uh, nice musical little danglers onto it and I can just use it on the go. And this is perfect for applying your lipstick on the go. So I hope you guys like that. And moving on to the next project, I have a little cell phone um, uh, this is a, I don't know what these are called, I think these, are, I call them cell phone charms and this is the little wire extension for your cell phone charms and this is the little thing that goes onto your cell phone and dangles from it. So I wanted to make one of these as well for my phone and all you need to do is when you get one of these, there's a little hole in here right down there and all you need to do is you need to grab a jump ring and you need to get that through that hole and I'm just going to close this like that so you end up with something like that and then I'm just going to grab some of my favorite little charms I might sorry about the noise I might just I really love this little bird cage it's so pretty it goes almost on all of my projects and let's see and I think I might do this little hummingbird along with that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two little jump rings and it always helps if you open up uh, as many jump rings as you need for your project before you start making your project because it really speeds things up so I'm going to have uh, I'm going to need two jump rings and I have opened them apart 
and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them onto the ring that I already have on there and I'm just going to close this up like so and I did go a little bit off so I, I want to use another one again I'm going to put the charm on the jump ring and then I'm going to go through this ring that is already on there I'm just going to close it up like so I hope I'm not going off frame so you end up with something like that and then I'm going to grab the little hummingbird and I love this guy and I'm going to go through the loop of the charm there and then I'm going to go through the first ring that I have on here and I'm just going to close this up and you end up with something like that isn't that neat so all you need to do is put the loop to uh, whichever gap you have and I haven't figured it out on my phone yet and you just dangle your charms from there and that's pretty neat and you need and you need to be careful you need to choose uh, nice smooth round ones and like these are and these are a little light so that you don't end up scratching your phone and blaming me for doing this tutorial <laughs> so that's that and uh, and I guess you guys must be wondering about these lovely bracelets that I'm wearing and I'm going to do a tutorial of how I made these and I haven't counted yet because um, I couldn't stop making them once I started making so I think I have six seven eight nine here so I'm going to make another one and add to my soiree of beautiful little bracelets and of course I'm going to add some good pictures of these and I have tons of these here and I'm going to quickly show you how to make one of these so to make one of these you're going to need a band like that and you can get these anywhere at your um, local market where you get your rubber bands and hair clips and such and I got them from my local vendor here as well and you get them very cheap so all you need to do is sometimes they come with a little bit of boo boo sticking out and you just need to grab a sharp pair of scissors and snip that out just to finish that up and you can see this is a very sturdy band it's got uh, it's not going anywhere I'm pulling at it really hard and it doesn't uh, tear or anything so you can use any rubber band that you have lying around to uh, try your hand at it and I'm going to need five jump rings and that's how many I'm using let me just count yes I'm gonna need five and I'm gonna open up my five jump rings that's one two three four and uh, this plier of mine has a magnetic nose so I don't have to grab my jump ring with my fingers it just pulls them out so I have number five and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this on here all five at once See, I didn't do a good job pulling it apart, so I sort of ruined the circular shape. But I'm going to try and fix that. And there, all done. So I'm going to quickly add the others. I 
hope you can see that I'm I hope I'm in frame and then the fourth one goes on and the last one so I'm just adding five for aesthetic sense it's always uh, good to have odd numbers so I have five of these and I haven't closed them all the way really tight but uh, I'll show you why in a minute and I'm going to grab my little camera charm and I know this is a really hot favorite with everybody I'm going to grab another jump ring for the camera and I'm just going to put that through into the center most jump ring that I have so I have two on both sides and I have got the camera going right in the center like so so let me show you what you end up with you end up with something like that and if you see the one that I'm wearing and it's got this little uh, wire chain hanging from it so I'm going to show you that quickly as well and all you need to do is you need to grab some of your ball chain here and it's all knotted up okay I have a piece here so all you need to do is you need to just measure how much of a dangle that you want and you're going to just snip it off so I'm going to snip it right in the middle here and it's pretty easy because these are pretty sharp and you need to be careful with these I hope you have your tetanus shots done because I get mine done for a year and all you need to do is I'm opening up the first jump ring the one the leftmost jump ring and I'm going to loop my jump ring into the little chain here and this jump ring is skinny enough to go through the chain and I'm just going to close it up and I'm going to close it up good so that my chain doesn't slide out so you end up with something like that like so and all I'm going to do is I'm going to now bring this chain around and I'm going to loop it onto my jump ring on my leftmost jump ring here. So I have my charm in the center and I have my chain going around it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my jump ring, open it up and I'm going to loop Since it's so teeny tiny, that's it. And I'm just going to close that up like so. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got no gaps in there so that my chain won't slide out. And you end up with something like that. How many is that? under five minutes so and I can add this to my collection here and you end up with something like that and I'm telling you teenagers love this and this is a perfect gift for somebody as well as it's uh, pretty neat if you're into bangles and um, wristbands and such so I'm going to quickly grab my supplies for my last showstopper project and I'm going to be right back okay so I'm back and I'm going to show you my last project and it's last but not the least I'm going to show you what I'm going to make and this is it so we might do a little variation on this guy but we're going to be making this uh, really awesome I hope I'm getting it in frame this really awesome chain and this is really beautiful and very very easy to put together so all you need to do uh, for this guy is you're gonna need a pendant and um, something like that and you're gonna need a resin flower 
sorry about the noise I'm gonna use this cream colored one here and you're gonna need your E6000 and with the E6000 all you need to do is you need to um, you need to get a really little pea sized quantity of it onto your little resin there and I'm gonna quickly close the cap and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down and I'm going to swirl it around so that I get a good coverage of it and you can see I'm just swirling my flower around so that it spreads and I'm just going to press it down I did press it down initially because I didn't want the entire glob to exit on one end so I just swirl it around so that it spreads everywhere and then I'm going to press it down and you uh, do need to let this rest or cure for 24 hours so I have another one done I'm going to quickly grab that and this is the one that's dried up and this isn't going anywhere this is really on there and to just prove my point I'm going to tap on it with my scissors and that's there so that's not going to go anywhere and you can see if you are really careful with your glue it won't you won't have any spillovers or any booms and if in case you do you need a wet baby wipe and you can quickly wipe that off or you can even clean that up with an ear bud but um, that's pretty much it it's pretty easy to use just use a little bit of it so that's the first part of my um, my uh, necklace done and I'm going to craft a little bird that goes with it and that's this charm here and I'm going to grab some jump rings I'm going to have my um, I'm just going to put the bird on there so if you notice with this pendant you have uh, the circle on the top and that of course uh, shows you that that's the top and then on the bottom you have a little oblong shape uh, shape here and that's where I'm going to link the little bird to and I'm going to put my bird on the ring um, or through the loop that's at the bottom of the bird so it looks like it's flying away from the flower grab the other one And you have to be careful uh, with your jump rings and make sure that you close them up good so your project doesn't open up on you or your friends or anybody who you give it to so you end up with something like that and I'm going to add a jump ring on the top as well so let's quickly do that and I'm going to leave it like that for a minute and what we're going to do next is I don't know if you've ever bought one of these charms from the store because this charm comes with a chain and I love this chain because it's perfect I make a lot of miniatures and I buy these bird cages to add to my scenes but I don't need the, ch uh, the chain so I use these chains to make my jewelry so that's what I'm going to show you is how I took this apart and all I did was it already has a lobster clasp set here and I'm just going to measure roughly as the length that I want and I'm just going to chop it off right there so um, and that's all you're going to do so you're going to just roughly measure and I'm not even using a um, a scale here and I have a little 
not going on there okay and I'm just going to measure this roughly here and I'm just going to chop this off and you can use these little buds and the and the little heart here as well on your other projects so um, I chopped it off on one end and I'm going to trim it off I'm just going to roughly measure and I'm going to trim off the other side as well I'm going to remove this and you end up with something like this and I'm going to add my my cobochon and my bird to this end here like so I'm just going to close this up make sure it's nice and flush and you end up with something like that and then from this part here I want to do something different and I'm going to use some of the ball chain that we have that we used in the earlier project and I'm going to just simply eyeball it and I'm going to do two layers of this so I'm going to trim it off here so I have a piece that's um, this looks like it's about seven inches but that doesn't really matter and I'm going to get another piece that's a little about an inch um, longer than or maybe two inches longer than this piece and I'll show you why in a minute and I'm going to grab another jump ring and I'm going to loop the end of this chain Do that one like so and I'm going to add it to my bird here and I'm going to quickly close that I'm going to make sure my loop is closed And repeat the same process on the other side I'm just going to grab my jump ring and get my loops to here And onto my chain on this end. I'm going to close this up like that. And you end up with something like this. And isn't that gorgeous? So you have a layered effect on the side. Like so. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, creating all of these things with me and I hope you actually use all of these and uh, let me know if I can answer any of your questions and uh, if you want any projects from me. So please subscribe and leave a comment and request if any 
and I'll try to comply to those. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.